Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of Past Life Pro, and to continue on with my third installment of my Cinema Mod series, I thought we'd break down the better foliage mod for Minecraft 1.7.10 and 1.8. So, let the learning begin. To put things simply, Better Foliage is a mod that's life is dedicated to adding in lots of pretty beautiful cosmetics to Minecraft. Cosmetics meaning things like patchy trees, fallen leaves, increased grass amount, rounded logs. Yeah, rounded logs. You can imagine how long it took for me to get hooked. So, how about I teach you the ins and outs of this mod? To reach Better Foliage's adjustment menu, you can push F8 while you're in game. By default, I really haven't changed anything in the menu, but I'll try to give you the rundown as best I can. Oh and yes, common knowledge from me to you. If you're confused at all on a certain tab or menu, just drag your mouse over it and the mod will try to help you out as best it can. The important ones though that I can actually provide valid info on, I will touch on. I'm gonna skip block types because that is really beyond me. Like most menus you'll be seeing as we keep moving, you'll have your enable button, which is used to turn the leaves effect on or off. You've got your distance limit number, which is currently set to have the effect be seen up to a thousand blocks, and the rest of the stuff, which in this case will allow you to adjust what the leaves look like and their size. Putting aside the features we went over, I've just got one thing to talk about, shader wind effects. For those using the shaders mod, true will allow the grass to continue waving around, whereas false will stop it completely. I'd recommend just keeping this set to true because it really does mess up the smooth shading of the lighting a bunch. Hanging grass. By default, this feature is not enabled, and I'm sure you'd understand why. We're gonna skip these six tabs because there's really nothing new I can add. Falling leaves. Yes, here is where you basically have all out access to tweaking the leaves to your heart's content. And quite honestly, I really don't have much to comment on at this point. If anything, just go crazy because from personal experience, you can create some pretty wicked results. We're gonna skip rising soles and connected grass textures. Rounded logs. By default, I believe the rounded logs should already be active, which is what a lot of you have been asking about, but for those that would like to see them square again, you have the enable button right up top. A pretty cool thing to note is by changing around the chamfer radius, which is probably a chamber radius if they misspelled it, you can adjust the curvature of the blocks directly instead of just enabling or disabling the rounded effect. Well, from what I can remember, I do believe I've touched on everything I wanted to touch on, so I do hope you got something out of this. Anyways, if this Cinema Mods tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!